Welcome back to Tidarium Hangar. This is Mike. I'm coming at you with another video. It's a collection. This is my friend Matt's collection. Hey there, how are you doing, Matt? I'm doing all right. Well, uh, we're going to look at your collection here. And I have a few questions, but you have a really nice collection, so let's get started at the top. So up here, looks like we got some Zeta Superion, and uh, looking pretty good there. And then over here in the back, now that's the Fans Toys version of Omega Supreme. And what made you decide to get this over like DX9? Um, honestly, I think it's just kind of because I've always gone fans toys and I like their products as it was. So I think that's really what kind of stirred me to it. This is actually the first time I've ever seen the fans toys one uh, this close up. And then, uh, and which which one of these uh, Bruticus is this? Uh, unique toys. Unique toys. See, and that thing's larger than I thought. Uh, from this angle, he doesn't look too small. So, uh, you know, even if you put a little something under him to boost him up there. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, I like how sleek he is. Now I do have the, uh, the Zeta version, but this thing looks like uh, less panel-y. Especially like in the legs right there. Mm -hmm. Those, those uh, limb modes. Are you excited about the Zeta coming out with their Predaking? Oh, absolutely. Awesome. By far my favorite Transformer. <laughs> yeah, and that's going to be a big bad boy, isn't he? Mm -hmm. All right, look at down in here. You definitely got some Dinobots. So, what what which, uh, what Dinobots your favorite? Oh, uh, probably Swoop. Oh, definitely. That Sora's nice. He's held up too. He looks good. And then you've got the grinder there, which you know that's that's another grinder. I don't have a grinder. Um, get back in there. And you got some comics in the back. Kind mm -hmm. of a nice little little offset there. And I always love the glass. I think the glass shelves definitely make it pop. Now, interesting story here. You, you got that lupus like what a few months ago, and you got a good deal on him. Uh, yeah. When, when did when did Dracula come out? About seven months yeah, ago. Yeah, I think I got mine probably two months after that because I just had to have him to go with it. Wow, that's so. that's awesome. And you got him for like what 150 or something. Yeah, like that? it was something right around there. That's that's a good deal on lupus these days. Then uh, and and we're gonna see later, but you've got uh, the fan toys version. Of Cyclonus, but you also have X Transbots, right? Yes. So, uh, which one do you like better? I I like the fan stories more, just because it's I think it's slimmer. It's, yeah. It's not as bulky, but I, I still like my X Transbots too. That's that's why I'm you know got rid of that one. Now this is the first time I've seen this guy in real life too. Uh, the MMC version of uh, Skylinks. Mm -hmm. So. Do you think this thing's too stylized, or is this good enough? Like no, we don't I, need another. I think it's great, honestly. Yeah, because compared, compared to like you know, if you look at uh, MMCs like Feral Rex, like up there, yes, how it's it, it's it's flashy in my opinion, but I think their Skylinks looks great. See, and I, so so the complaints I've heard is that it's not big enough, and I think this is plenty big enough. Oh, absolutely, I think it. I wouldn't want any bigger. Yeah, and then I, I think it's the perfect size. And then I've heard he's stylized, but I just really I don't think he looks that far from G1. I mean, no, I don't think so either. I think it looks great. And like, if you had him out of the case, like getting those wings all the way out would look great. Oh yeah. But I yeah. Well, he just gets his own shelf because he's awesome. Huh? Yeah. So uh, you looking to fill out the rest of the headmasters down there? Yep. Just, just waiting for him to come out. But that, you know, that is cool. You've got planned future space, and there's other places you have future space, future space planned also. Mm -hmm. Okay, moving into another shelf here. We've got uh, the Make Toys Visualizer. And I recently talked about the Make Toys Visualizer, but I, I really like that green plastic on it. So I know you. So why don't you go with the fan Swizz on that one? It's just. I, I just couldn't do the money for it. You know, everybody was wanting so much, and it looks nice. But I was just looking about it. Just the same thing for the bugs too. Yeah. And then I thought, you know, make toys was good. Yeah. And All then right. the bad cube bugs, I don't have a problem with them. Oh, they were, they were good looking. So. And then that's a nice looking set right there too. With that uh, fans toys. Oh, uh, the sovereign. Yes. Do you think fans toys is ever gonna make uh, this guy here and round out the whole set? Hmm. Maybe. I, honestly, I couldn't tell you. They're just, I feel like fan stories are so back and forth. You know, you'll get like a, a season one, season two character, and then you get a season three, and then they jump back. Yeah, I, I can see that. Moving down, now here's another amazing fan stories release that I like. The good old Phoenix. Mm-hmm. And so you've, you've 
pretty much got the majority of your collection is fans toys. Yeah, majority of them, fans toys, MP, but. So, have, did you, on this, uh, uh, Braun, did you, what do you think about the final victory? Is that something that you're ever interested in? I think it looks good, honestly, comparison to, um, that one, because I think that one is a good figure, but it's, it's me, it's a little bulky. Yeah. In areas. Yeah. But. A little short and stubby, huh? Yeah. So down here, so you've got the uh, the KFC version of Blaster, mm -hmm. and uh, what what do you uh, what do you think of that guy? Do you think that we need another Blaster? Or does this fit the bill? Good. I, I, to me, it fits the bill. I think yeah. when you look at it in comparison to you know Generation One and all that, yeah, I think he's a good looking figure. I agree. I think they did a great job on it. All right, and so and, and then that's the Make Toys, right? Make Toys right here. Yes. So, how far are you going to go with the uh, Beast Wars stuff? Um, it depends, really. Uh, I really want the Megatron. The, yeah. The official. I think he looks great. The reviews I've seen looks great. I just, you know, not ready to drop that type of money yet. But Oh, I agree. It, eventually, it will happen. Um, so, what, what are you... Uh, what are you going to be in? Are you going to be in on the fan toys version of Blitzwing when it comes oh, out? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So hopefully I'm. Uh, I, think I'm about the, I think about the only fan toys thing that I won't do is the six shot. Oh yeah? Why I, is that? I just after looking at everybody's reviews and how much they disliked him. Yeah. That they said he was such a cheap figure. Like, I think I'll probably steer away from it until I can feel one in hand myself. But sounds good. It's hard to say your collection is complete without having. One of these guys, a Toy World constructor. So, did, is this the first Devastator you've ever gotten in the MP scale, or did you go with one of I, the older ones? I had the Unite Warriors one first. Uh, okay. And then, I don't know, I kept seeing Toy World's Devastator, and I just had to dabble in it. Yeah. I did, and it was well worth it. That's that's definitely the G1 look, too. I like that one. Mm -hmm. That was uh, that was before the other 15 came out. Yeah. All right, MP10, are you in on MP44? Uh, yep, I already, uh, already got it ordered. Awesome, awesome. Where are you getting yours from? Uh, and I'm trying to remember the name of the place. Oh, uh, Amiami or something yep, like that? Yeah, that place. Mm -hmm. I might be saying it wrong, too. So, Who knows? It was, it was the cheapest in comparison, so... Cool, cool. And, see, you got a little bit different setup on your on, on your ratchet than I do with the... With the, the symbols? Yes. And the arms? Yeah. It's kind of cool they gave you options, though. So people's collections look a little different. Well, how about Bumblebee? You in on Bumblebee? Mm hmm. Yeah. The Pro tough one, huh? Pro it? Probably maybe later on the road, but. Yeah. I think I like the original version to the new release. Yes. Uh, his The feet, whatever they did with the feet on that new one, just. Yeah, that, that, that really I, I don't like it. So you've got all three of these make toys already. Mm hmm. Cool. So which one do you like the best out of these three make toys? Oh, uh, probably Thundercracker. Yeah. I think he's been my favorite out of the Seekers. Cool. Yeah, that's you know, that's, that's one I was. Uh, I've only got the uh, Starscream so far, and I haven't bit the bullet on the other two. But I'm. It's getting more tempting the more I see them in person. I, I think I think they're worth it compared to like you know the official Seekers. I yeah. Think they're miles ahead of them. So what do you think about the plus stuff like the like paying another 200 bucks to get the correct purple I, I would like to, but I'm not going to. Yes. Yeah. He works just fine. Just like the the wheel jack, I would like to have, you know, the actual cartoon accurate one. Yeah. But. Yeah, I, I actually picked that one up. That was one of the few of the pluses. So uh, getting down here, like this shelf here is uh, a lot of more fans toys on this. Well, three more fans toys. But uh, going on the Springer, is, are you done with Springers? Are you going to get the MMC version mm -hmm. or probably, the probably, X-Transbots? Probably not. I'll probably stick with the Fans Toys one. Yeah, because he does, well, I mean, he does look good. And yeah, Fans Toys definitely does uh, present their stuff very well. So, and it, now this one here is actually the uh, Japanese version of Rodimus, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah, moving on down here. So you've got... Uh, Looks like the MP01, you, you're going to rock that thing until the day you die, aren't you? Yep. Just like me. Yep, not getting rid of it. What do they call this one? Whoa. Oh, the this shattered one here. glass. Yeah, the uh, shattered glass one. Optimus Prime? Yes. Yeah. Oh, pretty cool, pretty cool. So over here, this is kind of like your chug slash G1 section, huh? Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, you, what do you think of that old uh, Metroplex? I like it. I think as comparison to the other one, the generation one. Yeah. One, like, yeah, I think it's good. It has a good look to it. Do you? I like the size. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Like it definitely beats G1. And uh, do you like the electronics in it? Is that something that's... Um, I don't have mine set up that way right now, but I did test it and I, I thought it was all right. Yeah. I'm just not really used to noises and sounds, I would say, I guess, on Transformers. So some of these are actual G1 and then and some, some like this shelf up here is, is the re-release stuff. And yeah. This is the actual G1 get as you go down and down. So what do you think of the like Walmart re-releases? Um, I like them. I think just because as a collector, I gotta have them, but kind of at that point where they want fifty dollars for an Optimus Prime, no, no yeah. trailer, kind of, kind of kind of put me at a stop at the moment. So here, here, here's one thing that I really like about your setup. So you've got future space here, mm -hmm. like you've got more. You, you like, hey, I'm gonna be buying more stuff, so I gotta have a place to put it, and you've already planned that out. Yep. Yeah. Cool. And then uh, like this is your Walmart re-release shelf here too, huh? Yeah. Awesome. What we got down here? This is like some odds and ends of different stuff. Yep. Uh, just a little bit of everything. Some comics. Um, got some books down there. The packaging and Transformers guide. Things like that. Cool. Well, Matt, thanks for showing me your collection. Uh, looks like you got some more Chuck stuff on the wall there. And uh, really nice collection. You got really good taste. Uh, I, I like your figures. It's awesome. I appreciate it. Like, subscribe, and Tidarium Hanger out.